There's something called private 5G. Is that just LTE? Oh. Shots, shots, shots. <laughs> shots, 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 shots. Right before you do your video. Shots. All right, ready? Hello, and welcome back to Monetize Me. My name is Jay. And my name is Mac. So today, we're gonna to be talking about some of the industries that we think have huge potential going into 2021. With 2020 behind us and the pandemic inducing huge changes in the workplace and in life in general, we think that there are a ton of opportunities available for entrepreneurs to explore. Yeah, I mean, I think the first one that really pops out is entertainment. With everybody spending lots of time at home, whether it is working from home or just not being able to go out to a restaurant, um, you have to um, spend the time. You have to somehow get rid of boredom, right? And that's yeah. where <laughs> inter- people are getting bored. Basically, yeah. And I think the the whole industry of entertainment has so many different options that you could do as an entrepreneur that you can kind of um, innovate in and improve as an entrepreneur. So what, one of the first ones we can think of is DIY kits. I think those have a lot of potential because people are spending so many time, so much time at home, they can replace that um, restaurant visit or like going to the movies or going to uh, the show by having a DIY kit. Yeah, whether that's home cooking or you're building a new piece of furniture or a wine rack or maybe building a home gym is something that I've looked into. There are a ton of things out there that especially as you're now stuck at home, you can look into doing yourself. Like. I don't have a gym available to me. Okay, maybe I'll do it myself. Maybe I'll build a gym or makeshift makeshift equipment so I can I can at least lift. Yeah, and, and then that DIY kit can become a hobby and then you can you can have that as your kind of uh, funnel to, you know, more serious hobbyists and provide them with services or products. Right? Games are another vector that we they that we, we looked in because with the pandemic there has been an explosion in video games Mm -hmm. and people playing video games um i mean you can just look at youtube and look at how uh, minecraft has resurfaced as one of the more popular (laughs) games again um and and books i think this is one that's kind of understated people still read books yeah i mean a lot of surprisingly i i always prefer hardcover books i would much rather be flipping through a real book than on a kindle or on my phone or on the computer there's something about just flipping through the pages that just it makes it easier for me to read but i think it's a huge opportunity because not only if you're an aspiring writer or want to get into writing you've got blogs you've got articles you could be writing you can go find outlets to write for you could also write your own books you could record a podcast there's a lot of things you could do as an author that people will utilize right now especially as they're getting bored as they're at home kind of stuck they want to read books i've bought books just in the pandemic so i have something to do people are starting to listen to podcasts a lot more they're watching streamers they're watching youtube they're listening to podcasts they're listening to music for artists and authors right now i think it's huge because you have a lot more people potentially listening to or reading your material for longer periods that you create yeah and i mean if for the more entrepreneur minded people you could probably create a company that edits yeah. books or uh, publishes them um, or, or helps or writing them consults, maybe maybe yeah. in editing software yeah yeah and uh, another another area that is um, that has a lot of potential is remote working and i think for me one of the biggest things here is um, home office design slash management. A lot of people had to switch from working in an established office with a desk and monitors and maybe snacks. I miss the snacks. Um, yeah. And they had to come home where they might not have had space for a, a home office, right? So for me, for example, I or had a snack an table. Or a snack table, right? For me, like, I didn't have space. I didn't have an extra room that I could use as my office, so I had to segment out my living room. And for months, I worked without a desk. I basically just worked on my couch, and it was it's not very conducive to productivity. I mean, you could do it, and you have to do it, but at the end of the day, having a desk is just a whole different feeling. It just puts you in a whole different mindset. And providing people with um, whether it is consulting them on how to divide up that space, you know, maybe they can send you a layout of their living room and then you can figure out, okay, if we make this area uh, office space and then somehow divide it up with a divider or something, um, that can give you that 
uh, divide that you need between the work and life, that balance that you need so that, you know, at, in this area, I'm in working mode and I'm productive. And then once a certain time passes by, I can go on, move to the couch. And now I'm in relaxation yeah. mode. And this can also couple with DIY kits. Maybe you give them kits that they can help revamp their office area, whether that is I need to make the most of the little space I have, or I have an office, I have the room, but I want I want to make it an office. I need I need a desk, I need to set up that, I need maybe cable management, maybe monitors, maybe I want to mount monitors, maybe like there's tons of areas where you could provide either help, consulting, designing layouts for them for the office or kits to help them build a desk that's right for them that's not too big or small that fits in the area that they have a lot of that can be done as like a, a service yeah and you can per couple that with pr productivity tools so with the whole idea of i'm creating a home office the whole idea behind it is i want to be more productive i want to be in this mindset that this is work time right so you can add on to that a task manager maybe you can add on to that um a communication tools right so or not add on to it but these are additional additional the, fields these are um company. adjacent fields that you can also try to explore yeah. uh by like bringing in a whole package basically yeah or i just there are other fields in general. I think communication tools is fairly big to couple with a DIY desk, but you've got Zoom, you've got Slack. They're booming yeah. as people are shifting to remote work. You have to be able to communicate with your team and collaborate. And I think we're gonna see a huge shift where companies are gonna start letting their employees pick whether or not they want to work remote. And with that come the struggles of, well, I still have to communicate with my team. I have to collaborate and it's difficult. And I think there's a lot of room for innovation in these fields because it's not the best, it is still difficult. And I think there has gotta be a way for that to be easier. And so whether it come, whether it's communication, just remote work productivity, making myself more productive or my team, I think there, there are huge improvements coming in the next year and the next decade. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't trying to say that yeah, it, they're the no, same I mean, thing. I, I was, I was, I was trying to say it's, just, it. it's an adjacent field that you can think of exploring while you're exploring this idea of a home office. Right, and then there's the explosion of online shopping and e-commerce. Yeah, right. Amazon has gained so much, so much more uh, stock <laughs> value in the last what year than it has before before that. And it's just because people are shopping more online. I mean, they were already there was already a trend going to it, but the pandemic uh, pushed that forward because retail stores were closing down or limiting hours or having a limited capacity, right? So this would be a great time to go into e-commerce, Yeah, right? And not only that, but like delivery. You've got things like Instacart and Amazon themselves have the, the delivery service for groceries. People shouldn't be going into groceries. You don't want a big collective of people shopping in one area, which yes, is sparking e-commerce, but also a lot of delivery systems and uh, shipping and logistics. Those companies are booming too because there's more of a necessity for it. You have to stay organized. You have to help keep people out of the same area. And if you can deliver and ship things to them easily, not only is e-commerce benefiting in online stores, but also it's a lot easier for the end users. And it's easier to be more productive and take advantage of my time if I don't have to go buy my groceries every time and I can use Instacart, or I don't have to go buy anything little, any little thing I need for my office, I could just go purchase of, purchase it off of Amazon or some online store. There are a lot of new stores that are coming up too. Yeah, I mean, for the spoiled ones that used to get lunch at work, <laughs> yeah. I had, you know, cooking is a very big part of my day now because I have to cook my lunch or order out. But a lot of the time you wanna save some money and cook. So a deli having an Instacart delivery in the morning, just in case you didn't go shopping that weekend or whatever the case is, is very very helpful and also health technology is going to be another area that's going to grow like crazy uh, especially because of the pandemic and also because companies are going to have start having the foresight to establish more of a permanent position um where they have a health consultant you can see this already happening with the entertainment industry or the product movie production industry where they have a doctor on on set to test everybody um, and make sure that they're uh, free of COVID. And, and I think it's it's gonna go beyond just the COVID era. It's gonna go into um, after COVID, post COVID era. And we're gonna have, we're gonna see these health consulting companies that work more closely with businesses to make sure employees are healthy.
Yeah, not only that, but just sanitation in general. As people are starting to move back into the office, there's going to be a need for sanitation, for like the precautions of, hey, if in the event that someone gets sick, we can we are not prepared for that. Whether that's like your cars or transportation, your trains, there's going to be a, a bigger need for sanitation because everybody's now more aware and not not necessarily more scared, but just want to be more careful about that. And I think sanitation and health tech in the more biological field is going to be huge as well. Yeah, no, I think in the next five years, there's going to be an explosion in like health supplements and, and different kind of um, health related products and services because people because people have gone through a pandemic and it's very fresh in their minds. And even like a simple cold, like before the pandemic, a simple cold was seen as a mundane thing. Now it's going to be seen as more of a serious thing. Yeah. And then going into just companies in general, as they're moving to a more remote workplace, there's more of a demand for everybody needs to be on the same page. My entire company needs to be fluent. You don't have everybody in office. They can't communicate as easily. So I think there's going to be more demand for end to end solutions to just organize companies. I think they're going to be spending a lot of money on how do I make my company as efficient as possible, whether that's automating certain tasks that aren't currently automated or just making sure you have an online environment, a virtual environment for your workers to store all their data seamlessly and communicate all in one platform. I know there's certain solutions right now, but I don't think there's any real quality encompassing solutions for these niche fields. Like there's a lot, like yes, you have Salesforce or you have other platforms, but I think there's gonna be a huge demand for the niche fields, whether that is real estate or insurance or banking or other financial industries, there's going to be a need to to allow for that collaboration. Yeah, and I mean, with, I, I can think of one thing, for example, for automation software. My company, for example, we don't have a meeting for standup. We have a software that is what we did the day before, what we're planning on doing the next day. And um, the kind of what we contribute to overall, what, what big projects are we contributing to? So it's, it's stuff like that where you're kind of getting rid of those meetings that um, basically all, all they are is everybody just says what they did and it's a waste of like an hour, right? Yeah. Or 30 minutes, whatever the case is. Those are all things you can automate and make your company more efficient. For. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's the big takeaway is efficiency and productivity. As this whole world is shifting into this new era, it's going to be extremely important that these improvements are made. People need to be efficient. They need to be able to do their job correctly, even though the workplace is kind of changing and how people are working is changing. It's it's going to call for efficiency, which is going to call for innovation. And that's, that's where entrepreneurs really hit their stride. Yeah, I think the effects of the pandemic are going to be seen years down the line. I mean, um, in remote tomorrow. work yeah. and, and a lot of different things. Yeah, I mean, uh, so it, these are industries that you should look into if you're starting a new startup or if you have a startup in one of these fields and you kind of want to shift more towards um, or pivot more towards one of these kind of industries um, and optimize your startup. But yeah, I hope uh, you took away something from this video um, yeah. and uh, it gives you some inspiration. Uh, for whatever startup you're starting or if yeah. you want to start. And let us know if you have any field that you're looking into or think that is really important going into 2021. And as we emerge out of this pandemic, you think is going to be, be boom and let us know in the comments. Yeah. Comment, like, subscribe, the usual have a stuff. Good one. Yeah. Have a good one. Good night. 13 minutes. Well, yeah. Not bad. 13.47. <clears throat> How did that feel? It was very mad. It was I mean, mad. You, I mean, I think you took every single intro. I was like waiting. I was like, okay, I got oh, like, like you didn't take me. I, I got the one for remote work. Then you went to that. I was like, okay, okay, I got to get. Nope, okay, I got health tech. Sorry. I'm ready. And I was just like sitting here, like. <laughs>